What is going on everybody? It's Dan with Rim right here. Hey, we're going to do a quick video on how we shoot steel wheels. We've got six wheels on the rack behind us here along with a couple brackets that we're going to start with some zinc rich primer. Uh, we like this because it's super corrosion resistant, gives a nice base layer for our color. Uh, once they come out of the oven, we're going to go ahead and switch to a uh, semi or satin black, depending upon who you ask. Um, be careful with your uh, blacks because a lot of people think satin is flat, some people think flat is satin. So I always make them come and look at samples to make sure that they know what they're picking out. So we're going to go ahead and get rolling here. So you're going to see us apply the primer. Um, this is from American Coatings in Illinois. Um, They've got some decent products there. I wouldn't say top of the line, but uh, they're pretty good. So we're going to start with that and then move over to Tiger, um, Tiger's semi black matte, which is a semi gloss, if you will. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, there you got it. So we sprayed the uh, entire wheel. Uh, we started with the faces, if you notice, where the seams come together. We try and get the paint in there as good as possible. So we always focus on that area first, and then we uh, come back and do the rest of the wheel. We got our two brackets done. Now we're going to run it into the oven, get it uh, partially cured out. And while we're doing that, we'll come back, switch out to the uh, black that we're going to spray, and we'll show you all that. Because it's Saturday and I'm here working, I'm gonna enjoy a nice cold one while those wheels heat up in the oven. Cheers. Alright guys, so the wheels just got out of the oven with the zinc rich primer. And now we're gonna let them cool down for a little bit. You can join our cold beverage and then we will um, hit them with the semi gloss black. So, watch and see. Alright, good news. It looks like we're down under uh, 150 now, so we're going to go ahead and hit it with the uh, semi gloss black.
So these wheels are all done now. Man, I never get a look at myself right after spraying. Beautiful. If you're married like I am, your wife loves it when you come home like this. Um, the laundry is a mess. This is beautiful. Holy cow, it's like I rolled in it. Um, anyway, so with these wheels, uh, you'll notice we didn't do the drum area. Not a big deal, they're primed, so they're gonna be good to go. Um, a little tip for you guys that have adjustable guns. Um, a lot of people are out there telling you to drop your KV, that's not necessary. What we do is we actually drop our micro amps. We go to about half of what we started with, and uh, we actually learned this from a, a Gima, Gima, Gemma, Gemma, Gima? whatever, uh, uh, salesman, trainer, guy at a, a powder coating institute class. And ever since we've implemented that with our KCI gun, which obviously, sorry about the background, um, which is obviously not as good as some of the other guns out there, um, we've been having amazing results, including like these brackets in the tight corners. We're not having any back ionization coverage issues whatsoever. So check it out, try it if you can. If you're running an Eastwood gun, God bless your heart. Um, you, the only thing you can really do is go from the high amperage down to the low amperage and hope you get a good coverage. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna put these things back in the oven, give them a full cure once they hit the 400 degrees, which is what the paint calls for. We're gonna wait 10 minutes, pull them out, let them cool, mount and balance the tires back on these things, and this Saturday night is over. See you guys.